Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today and this is a general reading that could help any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius sign so we can look at the cards and get a sense of what is going on for you so that you can plan accordingly. Okay, so Sagittarius, at the current moment you have the Six of Cups which is a card of thinking about past times, of, of being nostalgic and maybe remembering the good things in your life. There's a sense of this um, childlike uh, wonder of, of our wonderful experiences that we've had. And so we use that to help us sometimes to just enjoy the day, um, to reconnect in our mind to happier times. And so this is a card really of of also of gentleness and kindness. And you can see the one child is giving the younger child a cup with a flower. And so this may suggest that you are connecting with old friends, that you're going to meet someone from the past, uh, that you're going to maybe visit an old location that you used to spend a lot of time in. But there's a sense of nostalgia here and that you are thinking of past times. And maybe it's a past relationship but this is a card that, that brings you to a happy place. So uh, you are thinking about days gone by. The thing to be thinking about is don't get stuck in the past where it impedes your future, but go back to memory lane and to uh, think about events or people that brought a smile to your face. What is crossing you is the Nine of Swords. And as you can tell, the person here in bed is cupping his face. And this is a card of anxiety and of stress and of unable to sleep at night. So something uh, is causing you concern and you are worried about a matter within your life. And so, you know, you're going to have to find ways to be able to alleviate or to address this because this can lead to poor health and it can lead to sadness or depression if not handled accordingly. So there's something that is keeping you awake at night that is uh, upsetting to you. And you know, ultimately these things do pass, but it's something that is in your mind and that you are kind of dealing with. In your foundation is the Ace of Swords. And the Ace is a great card because Aces are gifts or blessings from the universe. And with this particular Ace right here, you can see the hand is holding, the, holding out the blade. This sword is sharp. It's uh, pointed right through the crown here. So there's a sense of intellectual prowess that you're going to be thinking of a new approach to a matter, that you're going to have ideas that you want to set forth and, and to put into motion. And uh, could be new businesses. It could be a new hobby that you're attracted to. It also could be your desire for different skills, perhaps, or um, a different degree or a different profession. But when we see the Ace of Swords, this is about clarity strong communication. So if you're going to be speaking in front of um, your co-workers or whatever, you're going to have uh, this good sense to do it well. You're going to speak clearly. The other piece of this is that as you are thinking and taking in these new ideas, that you are looking at both sides of the issue and you're doing your homework with it. So you're really informed and you're paying attention to the details. You are looking at it from a logical and rational perspective versus an emotional perspective. In your recent past, you have the star. The star is again a very positive, wonderful card and the, and the, the thinking with the star is that it's the faith that everything is going to turn out okay. That you have optimism um, in the future, that you believe that your path is going to work out well for you. So you have had this feeling. The, the star is also a sense of 
of healing and of, um, you know, kind of letting yourself be vulnerable. You can see she's without clothes and it's being open and um, really not caring what people think of you so much is that here I am, this is what I'm going through and accept me for who I am. So this, the star has a very powerful message and that message is to have faith in yourself, to have faith in the outcome, to take time to relax, to take time to meditate, to take time to go for a swim or a sauna, to cleanse yourself and to think about your relationship between your physical and your uh, spiritual part of your life. We look to the stars for guidance and so the, the stars can inspire us. And so this is healing, tranquil, loving, compassionate energy that has been within your recent past. What's crowning you is the emperor. And the emperor is an Aries. And so the emperor is about structure and gaining more structure within your life because he likes order. He likes the laws of his land to be followed. He's fair and considerate and balanced and uh, can also be thought of as a paternal figure, a fatherly figure that could extend to being a boss. It could be extend to a brother or a um, uh, someone else who has that kind of influence within your life. So uh, you could be meeting someone who is a successful business person. Also, the emperor could be a successful biz business person um, or someone that is going to help you with structure and organization within your life. What's ahead of you is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is a card of legacy, and it's a card of security when it comes to finances, property, investments, and you have been working hard, you've been able to provide, and you can see within this illustration we have the patriarch, we have the dogs, the children, the couple. We see the beautiful home here beyond the arch. And so this is, a think, this is thinking about taking care of family and taking care of, of the business of the family, which is to make sure that there's maybe that you have a, maybe a college fund for a child or that you're helping a elderly parent, caretaking for them. So this is a sense of, of being mindful of the finances and the uh, nuts and bolts of running your family. And it, you know, it just relates to your home. This could also suggest that maybe you're doing some home improvements. You're doing things to beautify your home because this, all these pentacles is, you know, there's abundance and uh, you're enjoying your, the abundance of your life and the beauty perhaps of your home. Where you are right now <clears throat> is the six of wands. And we see our guy here riding in on the horse with his wand and the wreath and he's also wearing a wreath and people are looking and and watching him and recognizing him for being successful and in the minor arcana this is really a sense of a victory card and that whatever goals you're hoping for whatever desires that you're trying to reach you will you will reach that you will you will make those goals because this is a card of success and whether this translates to a promotion, to a bonus, to a uh, travel opportunity and you know, increased responsibility within your career, this is the recognition that, um, you know, that you're going to, you're earning it. People in the background are watching you because they're seeing how well you do and they want to be like you. And that's, you're inspiring others with the Six of Wands. So this Six of Wands suggests victory and successfully reaching your goals, or at least getting closer to them within October. In your environment, you have the potential, strong potential, for a very deep and long-term successful relationship 
romantic, maybe it's platonic, maybe it's a dear friend connected bond that's really deep. Um, but this is a significant relationship where there's love and passion and there's understanding. And it's really the two different people coming together and this strong union. So you have the potential within your environment for this relationship to, to flourish. And perhaps you're married right now and it's just solidifying your happy home that you have a great relationship. Perhaps you're single and you're looking for love in your life. You're looking for a connection. You're looking for something deep. This lovers is a beautiful card to have and it's right here, your hopes and fear. Again, the Ace of Cups, a gift or blessing from the universe. This is a gift or a blessing of the potential of a fabulous relationship, of making a deep emotional connection with someone. So this is opportunity here. This is the possibility and the very real possibility that you can meet someone that's going to be serious and that's going to be fulfilling. And, and this card is joyful and brings great happiness and lets your emotions spill over with, with happiness and love and excitement. So <clears throat> cups, you know, we've got the cups, which is uh, what Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The lovers is Gemini. And in your outcome, it's the king of wands and wands is uh, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. And so it could be a relationship with someone who is in, who is charming, active, a go-getter, someone who is very good in business and someone who is uh, maybe travels quite a bit, but someone who is really willing to be a um, uh, someone on, on the move, someone who is doing in the process of doing, always doing something. So this in, in the outcome, the potential of meeting someone, maybe that's in your heart what you want is you want some activity and maybe that could be hiking or traveling the world or starting new businesses. Um, but there's with the King of Wands, he's, he's a master. He's also fired up about what he does. He has that enthusiasm, he has that passion. But really, whatever you're worried about, you're gonna be able to put that aside because you have some wonderful cards in your spread and you have the Ace of Swords of using your mind and your uh, rational thinking and your intellectual approach to matters to help you. You have the belief that everything is going to be, it's gonna work out in your favor. You know, this is a card of optimism, the star, is a card of optimism. So you are optimistic about what's going to be occurring. You also have some, maybe you're getting good advice from the emperor, someone that you trust, who is fair and reasonable. And home seems to be going well and is abundant and you're enjoying that abundant and you're looking out for the family. You have success coming to you you have the potential of a deep relationship coming to you, and you have the blessing from the universe saying, here's an emotional experience, keep your eyes open, look for it, and it's gonna come, come for you, it's gonna come looking for you. If you're in a relationship, it could suggest that you're gonna be having, uh, maybe it's gonna be just much more serious than you thought, and long-standing, but it's, you know, there's happiness here. And in your outcome, again, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, perhaps it's someone that you're attracted to who is very much active, on the move, athletic, um, charming, and a good speaker, good motivational speaker, all kind of good things with the King of Wands. So let's look a little deeper with the love, and I'm gonna pull a love oracle card here. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, whether it's you're being, whether you're addicted to your phone 
or you're uh, addicted to you know, alcohol, smoking, whatever it may be, just keep your eye on that. Don't let, um, don't let your limiting factors in your life um, intervene with something like this, all the goodness that is coming your way with, in terms of relationships. Make the relationships a priority. If you are having difficulties with addiction, reach out, get some help. If you are addicted to the phone and to technology and to always being on the internet, you know, put it away for an hour a day. Read a book, go for a walk, and just try to do a little bit to lessen the impact on your life. And then finally, let's just get a theme for you, Sagittarius, for October. Count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. And so that's always great advice, which is to be grateful for what you have and uh, just to be thankful for the position that you're in. And sometimes people are in tough positions and you're thinking, how can I be thankful for where I am right now? But, you know, if you have your health and if you have good friends and if you focus on the experiences within your life, versus the material piece, you might find more happiness, but really to start from a place of being grateful for your blessings is, a, is coming from a position of strength because then it, it uh, minimizes all the other upsets in life, is that when you're able, able to show gratitude, then you can um, set aside you know, the things that are less important, the little minor, the minor wear and tear of life, you know, the annoyances of life. If you can start in your car just to say as you're driving to work or if you're on the bus or taking the metro, just to think about what you're grateful for in your life. So Sagittarius, I hope you found something helpful here for October. If you did, please like, share, or comment. And if you have time or energy, check out my other daily readings. I also do a weekly oracle reading for mind, body, spirit. And I wish you the very best in October. And so thank you. Subscribe and check back for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.